Hey YouTube, what's happening? Um, <laughs> I just wanted to go through dating files 101. All right, so let's talk about like um, when one decides to choose a girlfriend or not <clears throat> when I'm dating. So, oh boy. What to do, what to say, what to say. All right, um, this might step on a lot of toes and stuff, but I'll just be real about it. Um, I know some women wonder why guys don't give them a relationship if they give it up on the first date and why guys leave them if they don't give it up after like the second or third date. Um, so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna say what I I did and and why you know and this could be the reason why guy some guys don't like give you a relationship why you give up sex on the first date or why you don't give it up at all I'm just telling you what how I felt and what I did so this can't be used to say all oh, men are like this this can't use to, be, to say like that all men think like this or you know this is just what they are after because you, you do have guys that are genuinely out there not to have sex they just want a relationship and that was me in the beginning before I lost my virginity I lost it at the age of 20 man I wanted to do the best I could to hold on to my virginity until I was married all right, and I'm being serious about it. I really wanted to hold on to my virginity until I was married, you know, because I was like saying I was really and and still am, you know, I'm very serious about my walk with God. I'm very serious about, you know, my body, how I treat it and, you know, who I give it to. You know what I mean? That's some very, very important I think that I think a lot of people have lost the value of. And this is why, like, when their health goes, they kind of start to realize how important their body actually is, and how, um, how, how much of a priority they should have made their taking care of their bodies, whether it be sexually or you know, health-wise, you know, whatever. Um, when, when I was in the dating scene, right? One of the main things. I can't say it's just that I didn't experience certain things that I know some guys experience in terms of like not having like that influx of women talk to me because I had an influx of women always talking to me and there were times I just went out and just met people for the sake of meeting people and there are times it just turned out into relationships so there are times I went out there not for the sake of having a relationship but for just for the sake of meeting people just for the sake of having experiences with different minds and things. And it it generally turned out to, 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 to turn into a relationship. Like, basically what I'm saying is that I had relationships even when I wasn't looking to have a relationship. I ended up in relationships even when I wasn't seeking or desiring to have a relationship. Now, um, when I went out on dates, I give, I have a rule of thumb. My rule of thumb is you get three dates, all right? And I'm not encouraging um, fornication or anything like that, but it happens. People have desires, and if you can't stay away from it, stay away from it. If you can't, then, you know, do your best to protect yourself um, and, and try to make sure that you're dealing with a straight-up legit person. And that is the most difficult thing nowadays because, like, everybody has an STD or something. But um, when I was on the dating scene, right, I had a rule of thumb. You get three dates. Now, the truth of the matter is, if a girl gives it up on the first date, the reason why I wouldn't see her again or I wouldn't consider her to be a girlfriend is because I have a rule of thumb when it comes to women, right? Rule of one is she could be seen several different guys. How many of those guys has she given it up to on the first date? So now all of that start to come into your mind to say, yo, okay, 
She had sex with me on the first date. So how many other guys has she easily given herself up over to on the first date? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like that plays into a man's mind. Like men think, like women think present tense, men think men think future tense we tend to not really only think about the here and now but about five months from now five weeks from now we include every single thing every single variable that's why you always say men are more thinkers than women women tend to jump the gun much quicker than men because men tend to consider all sorts of situations and variables as to what you know could be going on now, when a guy doesn't do that, it just means that a guy hasn't reached into his own as yet. He hasn't developed maturely as yet to start thinking critically like that. But when I was 17 years old, because of the situation that I was living in, you know, I decided that, yo, I can't, I, like, like this thing of how I thought had to change. Like, I have to start thinking a little bit differently than how I, I think right now, because this is not going to help me to progress, to grow, to succeed only other way to succeed right now is that i have to change how i think and how i act anyway now you understand what i'm saying in terms of like if a girl give it up on the first date it don't generally even mean that she's a slut but it tells you the mentality that she have and how many guys is she attracted to like the way that she was attracted to you and gave it up to you on the first night that she won't like there listen I'm okay with other guys looking better than me. There's always going to be someone that looks better than me. There's always going to be someone that looks better than me, has more stuff than me, whatever it is, that can probably make a woman's panty just as wet or even more wet than I make it wet. Right? And those thoughts come into my mind all the time. So on the first date, if a girl give it up on the first date, I tend to not want to deal with that girl anymore because it makes me wonder and think, how many guys did she give it up to on the first date? Now, when it comes to the third date, right? If a girl hasn't given it up on the third date, I left. Because that was, to me, officially, like, um, to me, you get only three chances to show me you're interested in me. Now, to show me how you're interested in, interested in me, you have to show me that you're sexually attracted to me. And by the third date, if I don't see that you are sexually attracted to me, I'm not like into wasting my time because we have to look at it this way. How many dates, like, um, when did the dates occur, right? Did the dates occur like once a month, once a week, whatever it is, right? That That is time that you're basically wasting that you could be using on another woman who would be sexually attracted to you and that way the relationship can progress to the to the next stage of getting closer and bonding together you understand you don't want you really and truly don't want to waste time with anybody in life because you only get one life and then after that life you're going to get judged for it you know what i mean so anyway my 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 thing is this if a girl don't give it up by the third date right if she don't give it up by the third date my thing is that just leave it's not worth it could be that she is looking for a free meal. It could be that she, like, is not interested. It could be, like, she's just using you. It could be, like, she is just, like, using, like, like just basically wanting to have all these guys chase her for her ego. And you don't want to be a part of that. You understand what I'm saying? And I could be a jerk for saying this, but it just, to me, it's just not worth it. Like, money isn't easy. I shouldn't be spending money on you, like, for three dates, like, $50, $60. I don't care what people want to say, but $50, $60 coming out of my thing, like, you understand what I'm saying? I don't care, like, per date, I don't care what people say, yo, but I am very strict about how my money is being spent, right? And if by the third day, you're not giving it up, I am out the door because, yo, you're not worth my time. You understand what I'm saying? That's a waste of time. So, you know, just to put it in perspective again, if a girl gives it up too early, you're going to be considered a slut because we're going to wonder how many other guys did he give it up to on the first date. And if you don't give it up, we're going to wonder if basically you're trying to like, you know, run all over us, use us, you know, build up your ego and stuff like that. Well, anyway, take care.